before when I would hear about uh, the laws and Bible truth, biblical truth, it would just really give me hate towards it more and more because for me, it's just hindering me from my happiness. I've gotten to the point wherein I was so empty and I've reached to the, the point wherein I was just so broken and I thought that coming out to the world was um, the only thing that can really satisfy me. But when I did it, it came to the point wherein I was still empty and broken. And that's where I really found myself asking for God's forgiveness and mercy and grace because I know that I am in need of saving from my own self. And uh, the sins that I needed to repent was really my homosexuality. And it was hard for me to really say those words because that was my identity before. And I was really holding on to that favorite sin. Coming out happened in a billboard. It was the first LGBT campaign in the Philippines. It was a big clothing line and they used us as a model to promote the first LGBT billboard in the Philippines. But I didn't really know that all the things that I've been doing, there were consequences, the sins that I've been giving myself into. The more that I read God's Word, the more that I know how a woman, the role of a woman should be, and that is to fear the Lord and to put Him first in His life and to just really live a holy and righteous life. The Gospel was evident in my conversion because I acknowledged sin for the very first time. I knew that sin was really missing the mark and not really meeting the standard of God and that I have a separation with God. And God really opened my eyes that I knew that my homosexuality was the one that is hindering my relationship with God and I needed to repent from that. I also saw her transformation when it comes to her um, style to show the beauty of being a woman or when it comes to to her clothes. Like me, I used to be a butch. When you say butch, I cross dress. And Carla's fashion before, she's like sporty, her style. The gospel is real in Carla's life because I can see it in her attitude. In the how many years that I've known her, I've seen how she has grown to love the difficult people or the, the people who she might not normally associate herself with. I've seen her heart expand even uh, larger with her family. And I also have seen her become more empathetic compassionate in the use of her words. There are bits and pieces of gentleness to that quick realization or awareness whenever she's not being loving in her speech or being kind in the way that she speaks. And I saw how God slowly changed her heart. Really, no, I need to follow what the Bible says. I need to follow, not just follow, but to really enjoy. God changed her to enjoy the plan, the beautiful plan of God for a woman. So knowing these truths, really, it helps us because this is the manual of our lives. The Bible is the manual of our lives. Scripture is. And uh, holding on to these truths would re just really help you how to live your life and to know how to be Christ-like, how to bear His image now that we have been redeemed we have been set apart. We know how to live our lives because of Scripture, because of this biblical truth. And it really helps us as well as um, believers to just really have this foundation that we will not be shaken and that we will have something to hold on to while we are here on this temporary world.